Hello my fellow growers, Nate here, and we're just finishing up doing a new test that we're going to post that I was very excited about, even though they might not be considered the coolest lights in the industry, T5s. 4 foot, 8 bulb, high output T5 fixtures. Um, we've been wanting to do this test internally for a long time, because there are tons of people that ask us which T5 is best, which is the best one to use, which one gives you the best spread, output, and we finally got all the lights in-house, ripped them out of the boxes, threw them under our uh, lighting footprint, the 5x5, and what we did was essentially put uh, the same bulbs in four different T5 fixtures. We used uh, the Grow Crew 4 foot 8 bulb T5 fixture, the EnviroGrow 4 foot 8 bulb T5, the Sunblaze, and the Quantum foot April. So we had our suspicions of which fixture would do best and you'll see in the testing below that the quantum fixture actually has a really really awesome spread but the things to really watch out for is that there's different scenarios for these T5s that can make them have you know maybe higher output but we also noticed that the ballast driving them were also running at higher wattage so we actually did some of our own calculations to figure out what we considered, you know, an efficiency ratio. And you'll see those in the PDF that you can click on below. But, I mean, by looking at this testing, you can really see, you know, exactly how much wattage these fixtures are drawing from the wall, exactly what the amperage is, exactly what the footprint is. And uh, really the only difference in these fixtures is that they have different ballasts and they have different reflectors, but we use the same exact bulbs for each fixture. We just took the bulbs out of one fixture, put them in the next, so that we can keep that variable held constant. And these are in the exact same space, using all the exact same power. So the test is very enlightening, if I do say so myself. Um, if you have any feedback, leave in the comments below. We're also going to be testing out T5 bulbs here in a second, especially with the introduction of the new Hordelux uh, Power Veg T5. So keep an eye out for that. For that, we'll change out a whole bunch of different T5 bulbs in the same fixture to see which T5 bulbs are really the best ones. So use these fixtures, you know, for vegetative growth primarily, and you know, seeing which fixture had the best spread really helps us figure out how we can put these fixtures in our vegetative growth areas so that we have good even light coverage and uh, we're getting the most out of those T5 fixtures. This is Nate from Grower's House. So first off, before we get into showing you the power footprints of the fixtures, I wanted to show them or show you guys the, the spectral output of a T5 high output light. Now looking at this spectral graph, this is actually a 6500 Kelvin bulb and you can see that the spectrum um, is relatively uh, broad actually. You got reds, yellows, even some greens, blues, and some deep blues. Um, so this is what the spectral graph looks like of a high output 54 watt T5 bulb. Now jumping into the fixtures, um, you'll notice uh, basically every PAR footprint, the, the intensity is uh, a little bit more uniform wide than it is long and that's to be expected with these fixtures because the reflector kind of diverts the light to go left and right rather than the long way so wide instead of long which this is a really good fact to know because it can help out in mapping your grow room you don't need as much cross lighting going sideways from the fixture as you do longitudinally so um, stacking these fixtures up against each other, you can see that um, there wasn't a huge variance. I mean, we're probably talking, um, you know, especially when you talk about the outside perimeter, we're only talking about maybe differences of about 10%. But once you get towards the center, I mean, difference between the least intense and the most intense unit um, is about 20% from the Grow Crew to the Quantum Bad Boy. Um, but uh, other than the Quantum Bad Boy, the fixtures were pretty similar, like the EnviroGrow, Sunblaze, and Grow Crew fixture were all um, kind of neck and neck. It depends on which area you measure and which fixture does best. But the Bad Boy stood out quite a bit, and I think that's because the ballast is driving more wattage to the bulbs, and the reflector is actually larger. 
and the reflective material inside of it seems to be of higher quality. Uh, and you'll even notice there's kind of an arbitrary ratio that we came up with, but um, take it for what you will. But we wanted to show it off anyways. It's the par over watts ratio. We took the total par divided by the watts. To give you a ratio, essentially that's, you know, I guess you can consider it somewhat of an efficiency ratio or like uh, how much light output you're getting um, per watt. Um, <clears throat> and you'll notice that the quantum again did best uh, out of all these fixtures. So um, if you're looking for the best you know, unit out there, I'd say the quantum bad boy is uh, definitely it. Other than that, this is Nate from Grower's House. Stay tuned for more tests. Happy growing.